warning, this episode of Doomsturbing is indeed very much disturbing. Your discretion is advised. Hello Spartans, welcome back. The history of Doom modding has a long record of spawning some of the most bizarre pieces of entertainment in the video game industry and the ecosystem of mods for Doom. From pieces that laugh at the mainstream media from the United States, to mods that outright take a big fat dong on some specific ideologies, religious beliefs and other sensitive topics. With that being said, have you ever wondered which of the thousands of mods for Doom is the most controversial and offensive of the bunch? I don't like where this is going. Well, if you thought about the Grezzo Do, then you are right. <laughs> This total conversion mod for Doom 2 Hell on Earth is one of, if not the most offensive piece of media the modding community for Doom has ever spawned. Did you know that its creator Nicola Piro is also a member of the Italian metal band Cara Show? Just a small piece of trivia about the game. This video is not a review about the Grezzo 2, but an informative piece about how this mod for Doom spawned one of the biggest gaming controversies on Italy and the reason why it did. So because of that, there's a pretty good chance that this video will get demonetized. No, actually, I know that this video will get demonetized. So please do me a big favor, leave a huge like, a comment, share this video with your friend Oscar, join the Patreon if you want, and also subscribe if you haven't already, my friends. But before we begin, this video is sponsored by World War Armies. I may not seem like it, yeah. but I am a big fan of real-time strategy games, having played Age of Empires 2 when I was but a little toddler. A goo -goo -ga -ga. and absolutely adoring Halo Wars as a teenager. World War Armies is a mobile RTS game that is heavily inspired on instant classics like Company of Heroes and Steel Division, with responsive controls that feel like if it was a PC port, beautiful art direction and graphic design. World War Armies features different nations to play as, and you can choose from a variety of infantry and vehicle units to control, ranging from riflemen, rangers, mortarmen, engineers, machine gunners, and of course, a lot of tanks, like the M24 Chaffe, M4 Sherman and the M7 Priest. Each unit has a unique active ability and each unit can be upgraded in real time. There's two nations to choose from at the time, the USA and Germany. Each has its own set of generals and each one of them has different abilities and skills, like launching airstrikes or collect more resources over time. World War Armies is an online PvP game and launches the 30th of June this year. Thursday. Be sure to click the link in the description and receive the M8 Greyhound and tokens right after finishing the tutorial. Special thanks to World War Armies for sponsoring this video. Grezzo Do is the most offensive Doom 2 mod ever, at least that's how the creator describes it. And after playing this mod for several dozens of hours for this video, I can indeed understand why. Grezzo Do takes a huge dunk on Italy's culture as a whole. That includes popular TV hosts, activists, important history icons and much more. Also, the game's story, yes, it has a story, it has lore, has the potential to be featured on an article from mainstream media. Vaya, 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 que tenemos aquí? An article from Kotaku, written all the way back in 2013. How many offensive things can you count on this Doom 2 mod? Child murder, priest murder, Barney the Dinosaur murder, Mario murder, Buddha murder, li really just murder murder, nothing is sacred anymore. After saying all of that, this video is gonna get demonetized, so join the Patreon. The story of Grezzo Do takes place in Italy and has, as its protagonist, the creator of the game, Nicola Piro, who apparently hates everyone and everything. One day he was bored as hell and decides to kill everyone he encounters, including famous Italian celebrities like Mike Bongiorno, Giorno Giovanaca, Emilio Fede, Moira Orfel, etc. He decides to take everything in the world down before going to the Vatican City to kill Jesus Cristo Redentor before he is born. The game takes place in the year 2013 and Zero before Christ simultaneously. So, in this game, Jesus Christ hasn't been born. 
yet. Like I said, this game is about taking a huge shot on Italy and Christianity or religion overall. Because of it, Grezzo do uses several techniques to achieve that, stuff like depicting extremely beloved celebrities in the most offensive ways possible. For example, the use of Padre Pio, one of the most beloved saints in the 20th century, as a caco demon type enemy that shouts blasphemy and even greater blasphemy, like for example, Porco Dio, which means God is a pig. Some textures, if not all of the textures of this game, include images of swastikas, penises, Jesus Christ holding guns, Jesus Christ as Rambo, Jesus Christ being railed by Romans while being crucified, Jesus Christ being the Antichrist, satanic imagery, fascist propaganda, Benito Mussolini, famous TV host having big pee on her face and a swastika tattooed on her forehead, etc, etc, etc. There's like 50 more things but that's enough. You know, Italy is home to the Catholic Church, one of the most important religious organizations on the entire planet. There's still a strong taboo towards black humor, satire, or, in worst cases, even criticism directed against Christianity as religion or Catholicism as institution. On TV, pronouncing blasphemous profanity has been reason enough to expel someone or have the broadcast suspended. After saying all of that, Grezzo do, however, doesn't give a damn about it. Therefore, it insults, mocks, and desecrates the church in every possible way. The Catholic Church is the ultimate villain of the game, an evil, omnipresent and corrupted the bone organization that aims to take over the world. God and Jesus Christ themselves are both starter villains. Jesus appears in the very first level, he tries to kill you after you massacre the people attending the mass or the church. God appears in heaven, you can kill him or simply avoid him while you're turning to the earth. The game features dozens upon dozens of references to Italian pop culture, and mocks and belittles each and every single one of them. So much that I am not gonna go over all of them on this video, if I did, this video would be like an hour long and... Yeah, no, I do not want to get my channel terminated. When the game released all the way back in 2013, it quickly gained a ton of popularity in the modding community of Doom, while at the same time received a ton of negative attention from mainstream media, specifically from Italy. No shit. With a lot of people stating that the contents of the game were blasphemy and should be taken down. And taken down it was. Italy did not ban Grezzo Do from being played or downloaded inside the country's network, but Twitch, you know, the streaming website, actually did something about it, banning the game from the platform outright in 2015. If you try to stream the game right now on Twitch, your channel is gonna get terminated basically instantly. And not because of its nudity contents. The game does contain nudity, but not as extreme like the nudity of God of War. The game was simply banned because of how offensive it is to Italy's culture. Another controversy surrounding Grezzo Do is just how much assets the creator stole to create this mod from other games. Grezzo Do is the one mod that has assets from dozens upon dozens of other video games. Games like Brutal Doom, Hexen, Heretic, Blood, Wolfenstein, Spear of Destiny, Duke Nukem, Rise of the Triad, Roshan Overkill, Shadow Warrior, and many, 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 many more. That was like one-fifth of the whole list of games that have their DNA on Grezzo Do. But still, after saying all of that, at the end of the day, Grezzo Do is just a game, it is a digital video game. No shit. And should not be taken seriously. Everyone in this world should have the emotional maturity to know that Grezzo Do is just a ton of zeros and lots of ones. That's it. To put it simply, Grezzo Do, like any other video game, or like my screen on my phone, or my PC, etc., they are just zeros and ones. That's it. We should all see video games for what they are. Games. Fantasy. 
something that does not exist. And well, after saying that, indeed, the game is very fun to play, has quite the awesome arsenal of weapons to use, and the enemies are creative and interesting. But anyways, my friends, that's my take on Gretzo 2, and that's why Gretzo 2 is one of the most, if not the most offensive Doom mod ever created, with Moon Man being the only mod that is actually somewhat like Gretzo 2. But I also want to know your take on Gretzo 2, so please leave a comment down below in the comment section. Thank you for watching this video. One thing I forgot to talk about, Gretzo 2, like I said, is a very fun game to play. The soundtrack is absolutely fantastic. <laughs> Playing this game and going through the areas, killing enemies, etc. while listening to Italian hard bass or something, if that's a genre, I don't know, is absolutely a mood. And I liked it, it's pretty cool. Grezzo Do 2 has a demo right now, and I don't know if this video gets like 5,000, 10,000 likes, I'll make a video on Grezzo Do 2. So leave a like right now, ahora mismo, hazlo. But anyways, thank you for watching this video. It's okay, my Spartans, please let me know what you think about this video in the comment section, leave a like if you did, and a dislike if you disliked the video, it is completely fine. If you dislike the video, dislike it right now. Muchas gracias. Like I said, I'm in the process of moving to another house. I'm finally going to have my own office to create content, and that's gonna happen in the middle of July. So after the 15th of July, expect tons of videos, tons of awesome content that I have basically waiting on my archive to be uploaded because I want to have like this cool segment of content after my new house. So yeah, it's gonna be awesome. Do not forget to check out the Patreon if you want to support the channel to get more content into your feed. And well, have an awesome day. Adios. Bye. Adios.